Hello and welcome to Sweet Talks with Sarah, where I'm going to interview Sirloin the Dancing Cow from the Lamar Public Library. He's here to talk to us today about the summer reading program. So what exactly is the summer reading program? Traditionally, summer reading programs were designed to encourage school children to keep reading during summer vacation and preventing the summer slide continues to be the main objective of summer reading programs. For many people, the public library is the only community space available during the summer months where they can access free educational and cultural enrichment activities and programs. We want to motivate people of all ages to read, so our reading program is designed for everyone, infant through adult. Now, I've heard that there's themes for summer reading program. Is there a theme for 2021 summer reading program? Yes, the theme for this year is Tales and Tales. Think animals, all about animals. It's a theme that really is great for all ages. Now, when does the summer reading program start? Um, you can register now, but the program officially begins Tuesday, June 1st. And you can register at the library's website, right? Yeah, just go to lamarlibrary.colibraries.org and click on the Summer Reading 2021 tab. All right. Okay, so what... God, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it is so hot in here. Would you like some milk? I'm okay. Thanks, though. <sighs> How about some salad? I already ate. <sighs> Man, I tell you what, I am so tired. They got me up at 3 o'clock in the morning in order to get in off the pasture. <sighs> oh. Do you know what they call a sleeping bull? No. A bulldozer? <laughs> so there's activities. Oh yes, there's activities too. There's crafts and activities and we also have special performers coming to the program this summer. Okay. So if you like magic shows, we got a magic show. If you like storytellers, we got a storyteller. We just have a variety of everything. Okay, so you said that we sign up through the website. Yes, I did. So how exactly do we do that? Okay, so once you get to the library's website and you click on the 2021 Summer Reading Program tab, it'll bring you to the page and on that page, it'll have each individual age group with the age that your child is. You're going to make sure to select the age that your child will be going into in the fall. Once you click on that and sign them up, um, it'll ask for an email, their child's name, the grade, and it pretty much just takes you through the steps on how to sign them up. That seems pretty easy. Yeah, it really is. Then what happens once you're registered? Okay, so once you're registered, you need to make sure to stop by the library and pick up your summer reading program welcome bag. And it looks like I have one just here to use as an example. Awesome! So it looks like we've got this that comes in it. Oh yeah, so this is the summer reading program calendar. It'll give you a schedule of all the events that's happening in June and July. And looks like we've got a letter. Yep, this is our registration participant letter. Um, it just gives you some information and walks you through the steps on how we run the program. And then what is this? Oh, this is something that we've brought back after several years of not having it. It's our attendance passport and the participants will bring this passport every time they come to a program and our activity and make sure to get it stamped. They'll turn it in at the end of the program for a chance to win an attendance award. That's pretty exciting. I thought so. And I'm seeing a songbook. Yep, so we made some songs up this year that um, the kids can practice and we'll be sh um, singing them at some of the programs. That's pretty cool too. Yeah, it's they're kind of catchy. They get stuck in your head forever. <laughs> And I'm seeing a lot of cool other activities. Oh yes, so um, our librarians that did the packets, we have Tammy Sinka, Cherie Aguilera, Sherry Earhart, and Sarah Osmus created these fun activity packets in order, oh, that's you, isn't it, Sarah? It might be. <laughs> we created these fun activity packets in order to keep the kids busy this summer. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's even a Bookopoly. Oh yeah, this is something new too. So you, there's a Bookopoly with some different activities to complete and titles of books to read so it's pretty fun that's really cool and just 
I'm not gonna go through all the packet, but it's a pretty thick packet. Yeah, it, it should keep them busy for a while. <laughs> all right, so you're also supposed to read with the summer reading program, Oh, though, right? definitely, that's the number one thing you need to do this year. Read, read, read. And you'll log your pages in your Wandu account. Now, are you logging them for a reason, or? You betcha, we have end of the year prizes. So you read a lot, you'll have a chance to win a prize with that. We also ha have what's called a community reading goal. And the community reading goal this year is, wait for it, 300,000 pages. That's a lot of pages. Oh, don't you know it. That's pretty cool. Now, do the pictures get colored in the more we read? Yeah, so you read and you log your pages and each little dot here is worth 10,000 pages and we're gonna continue until we fill up and color the animals. That's actually really creative. It really is. All right, so one last question and that is, when does the summer reading program end? Well, we have our swim party, our pizza party, and our award ceremony on Monday, July 26th. Ooh, that sounds exciting. We are so excited. After not being able to have the in-person program last summer, we are so excited to be welcoming everybody back. We are. Do you have anything else that you would like to say? Just make sure to sign up and come see Sirloin the Cow. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Sirloin. Oh, before I leave, do you know what they call a pampered cow? No. Spoiled milk. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, you betcha. Do I need to do a mic check? Uh, I mean, you can. Moo. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. I'm sure it is. Are you sure you don't want some salad? I I'm really am okay. Mm. Maybe you can eat after the interview, though. Oh, I don't know. I think I just have a nibble. Okay. Do I look shiny in there? Mm -hmm. I, I need the makeup. Where is the makeup? Makeup! Makeup! What do you need? Oh, I got too much shine. Give me some powder. Gotcha. Thanks. Um. Hey, Sarah. Hey, what? What did the farmer call the cow that had no milk? What did the farmer car call the cow that had no milk? An utter failure. <laughs> An utter failure? Get it? Utter? <laughs> Some days I think I should quit. <laughs> <sighs> but what do you call a cow that won't give milk? A milk dud. <laughs> a milk dud, you're good. <laughs> that one was a good one. <laughs> <laughs>